Homecoming is the event of the school year and the perfect way to gear up for going all out in your school spirit week. So show off some school pride and rock that spirit. Hey everyone, I am Gracie Dezenny and today I'm gonna show you how to make a few school spirit themed projects so you are set for your upcoming spirit week. So we are starting with 80s day. Throwing it back. We're going for more like an exercise 80s look and so it's gonna be really bright and lots of jazzercise. You're gonna take your oversized neon t-shirt and you're gonna lay that out. And then we're just gonna cut the top off the shoulder. We've done this a lot before, but just in case you forget, let's do it again. And there we have it. We have our shirt and now it's time to move on to our leg warmers. We're gonna be using one of our favorite products of the season, a thrift shop sweater. And we are just going to cut the sleeves off. Cut one side at a time to make sure everything is straight because we're not sewing. Do the same thing on the other side. Now to finish off the look, the bow on top of the 80s present is the scrunchie. We are going to take our fabric and you're gonna lay that out. It should be folded in half lengthwise. Now you are going to cut it. It's about as wide as you want your scrunchie to be. It should be about arm's length. That's good, cut that off. And now we're gonna glue the opposite side. Take your glue gun and glue piece by piece to make sure it is all evenly glued. So we're going to take a safety pin. We're gonna put our pin inside and just scrunch it all the way back through the other side. All right, so now we come to the end and we're gonna pull it all the way through. Turn the entire thing inside out. Ta-da! So now you can't see any of the glue gun. Take another safety pin and take a piece of elastic and pin one side of the elastic, pin the other end to the other pin. Now you're gonna take this end and pull it back through. Find both ends of your elastic and you pull it tight just like so. Unpin this side and you're just gonna tie those. So we're gonna double knot that. Cut off your ends and now take your glue gun and you're gonna glue one side just like that. Tuck it in there like a little pocket. And we are good to go. Scrunchy-tastic. Woo woo. All right, now on to Western day. We're gonna make a fringe vest because that'll make you look like a cowboy, right? I don't know, let's try it out. So we're gonna take this vinyl and you're just gonna fold it once. Now we are going to take your favorite denim shirt or whatever shirt you plan on wearing under this and you're gonna lay that over. This will be our stencil. So you're gonna draw it on the sides and the top. All right, now take that off. You don't need that till later. And we're gonna scoop in the armpits a little bit so you can see the shirt underneath. And then since it's a vest, we're gonna kind of make a triangle shape. We're gonna go in, just like that. Now we're just going to cut along the outside. Now let's cut the bottom, but don't cut the vest shape, just cut a square. Now that we have our two pieces, we're just gonna cut the front piece and that'll make the front of our vest. All right, now it's time for one of our favorite things. Instead of sewing, we staple and duct tape. So you're gonna take this and line it up just like you had before. And it should line up perfectly because you cut it out at the same time. Now we're gonna take our stapler. and starting on one side, just staple. Stay as close to the edge as you want. Now we're gonna put duct tape over the staples so they don't hurt you when they're on the inside. Repeat the same exact thing on the top two sections and on the other side. Now we're gonna lay that down. Now it's time to add some fringe to make it really look like a cowboy. Taking your leftover fabric, we're just going to cut all the way down the side. Fold it once or twice so we can fringe a little faster. Now just fringe it out. All right, when the fringe is done, it'll look a little something like this. 
Now we're gonna place these right on the rib cage. Measure it out, see how much you're gonna need. Cut in the middle of two pieces of fringe. Now you're gonna do the same thing to the other side and glue gun it down. Once it's all glued down, you can cut up the fringe a little more, and then it's time to add the final star. So I have this sparkle sticky foam, and then I have this stencil right here. So you're gonna take that and trace it on the back. And then let's cut that out. Peel off the back, and then place it right there. All right, so we're down to the last day. Picture this. It's Friday, it's the big homecoming football game, and it is freezing cold outside. This is the perfect thing, a school spirit scarf. We're gonna take a t-shirt with your school emblem on it. You're gonna lay that out there. And then you're gonna choose the width. I'm gonna go about this wide so I get the entire logo in there. Cut out that emblem. All right, so after you cut it out, it'll look a little something like this. So now cut up some fleece, jerseys, different fabrics, and make sure they're your school colors. First, start with your logo one, and you're gonna lay that down like this. Then we're gonna take our striped one and lay that over it. Find your pins, and you're just gonna pin along this bottom edge. And we are gonna take our next fabric, and you're gonna lay that over, and you're gonna pin these two together. The pattern of the t-shirt or the fabric should be facing in. All right, so after it's pinned, it'll look a little something like this, and it's time to pull it together. We are using a new medium today. It's this really cool tape that kind of works like heat and bond, and it sticks things together without sew. It's called no sew hem. So let's use that. Find one of your places you pin two fabrics together and unpin those. Fold back just a little bit. You're gonna take your tape, lay it down just like that, Fold the fabric right over and line it up. Then take your iron and you're just gonna lay that over it and press down. It only takes about five or 10 seconds, so don't worry about holding it on there too long. And now we're gonna repeat it on all the other pieces of fabric. All right, we'll finish this last one. Now we're gonna wait a few minutes for the tape to cool, otherwise the scarf may fall apart. Bing, all done. Now we're gonna turn it inside out. And we are complete. Which costumes out of these would you rock? Let me know in the comments below. And I wanna see your photos from Spirit Week and from your homecoming. So send me photos on Instagram or Twitter at awesomenesstv with the hashtag to die for and I will see you all soon. Bye.